Good evening. Is that Nate? It is. Hey, Mary. How are you? Hi. Good. Hi. Hey, Nate. Hello. Oh, is that is that Robin? Yes. Nice. I'm being quizzed. I, I have to keep calling in because Zoom just crashes on my laptop. Oh. Not to get. Damn. Can't you put Zoom on your phone? Ooh. I, yep. That, yes. Yes, I could. Yep. I don't know if I will. <laughs> but it's I not as much fun, but. I like it when you no. start. The... What was that? I don't know what. Hi, everyone. It's 7 o'clock. Well, let's get our meeting started. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, liberty and justice for all. We're going to get a uh, roll call, please. Luther? Here. Traxler? Here. Sutherland? Sutherland. Here. Sweeney. Here. Schwebs. Here. Merrill. Here. Solberg. Here. Schlu. 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 Well, we can see you, uh, Chad, but we can't hear you. I don't know. He's here. Erdman. Uh, here. Sommerfeld. Here. Okay, thank you. We don't have any special recognitions this evening, and uh, so we can move right on to approval of minutes. Uh, Mr. Eide, do you have? Do you need to uh, fill the audience in on how to come into our meeting, if you'd like? Uh, sure. Thanks, Mr. Mayor. So, for the public. Um, uh, when the mayor opens up public comments, if you wish to speak, uh, star nine. If you're on a cell phone, looks like most people are on their computer. If you go to the participants or the panelists tab, and you should see an option near the bottom of the screen that allows you to raise your hand and the uh, mayor will call on you if you're in the public. Okay, thank Nate, you, Mr. Nate, has... Nate, you got your hand up. Yeah, I. Uh, sorry, I didn't mean to cut anybody off. I was just gonna make a motion to approve the minutes. If, Perfect if timing. Awesome. Uh, yep. Motion made to approve the minutes by Nate Merrill. Is there a second to that motion? Nate, uh, Ryland, you got your hand up? I'll second Nate's motion. Okay, thank you. Motion's been made and seconded. Any discussion? All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Okay, thank you. Uh, no public hearings this evening. Uh, public comments. Public comments is a portion of our meeting where anybody can speak for four minutes, three minutes or less on agenda items for the evening. So at this time, we'll open up public comments. If you'd like to speak, um, you can do so. Last call for public comments. Okay, seeing nobody in for speaking in public comments, we'll close public comments and move on with the rest of our meeting. Under uh, unfinished business, there is no unfinished business this evening, so that brings us down to under new business 6A, authorization to appoint Heidi Olson as the city treasurer comptroller. Discussion and possible motion approving. And Heidi's here this evening also, so if we want to ask your questions, uh, we can certainly do so. Jan, go ahead, please. Yes, I wanted to um, move that we appoint Heidi Olson as city of Menominee treasurer controller effective January 1, 2021. Wow, that's awesome. Uh, thank you, Jan. Mary? I will second Jan's motion. Great, motion's been made and seconded. All right, uh, discussion. Lowell? No, just a um, little background. So Susan Hawkinson had been the treasurer comptroller. Uh, Susan, because of some felt the best interest, she, um, she retired or, or uh, resigned earlier this year back in August. Heidi and I had a discussion and she gave it a go for three months to see if she would like to do this more on a permanent basis. And I arm twisted her into saying yes, or somebody arm twisted her into saying yes. 
right or wrong. I don't know if that was wise on her part, but we'll find out. So uh, Heidi is willing to do it. She's uh, done well in her interim duties, got the tax rolls out, which is a big important part of that uh, um, job description. So I think Heidi's worked for the city since what, 1989-ish? So it's mm -hmm. been a, she, she's, she's worked her way up. She's paid her dues and I guess she should be, I, I think I'm very supportive of Heidi taking this position and I assume finishing out her career with the city doing this. So thank you for, for offering to do that, Heidi. Be willing to do that. Well, and I would agree with Lowell and I think, uh, I think the entire city staff appreciates her candor. She's very upbeat. Uh, she's, um, she's a sincere individual and she's, She's given a lot of her life to the city of Menominee and uh, we appreciate her very much. In fact, uh, I'd be willing to waive the rules if somebody'd like to make a, can I make a motion on top of a motion? Well, well Jan, 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 Got go ahead. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead, Jan. Um, I made the mo I'm, I moved. Yep, yep, you did. And you still got your hand up. Yeah. Oh, oh okay. I'm sorry. I don't know how to put it down. <laughs> <laughs> That's all good. Well, I think uh, it's it's a pretty Im impressive that Heidi is here. And Heidi, uh, if you want to turn your microphone on and address the council at this time, this is your opportunity. Okay. Good evening. Good evening, everyone. Um, some of you may know me, but um, Heidi Olson. Uh, yes, I have been here since uh, 1989. Um, my career started out at the police department, and then I moved up to City Hall. And uh, the last five years, I served as the deputy treasurer. And in the last few months, um, I took the seat as the city treasurer. I have a great office staff. Uh, all of us have been um, through some trying times with the COVID and office shut and changing in staff. But uh, the administration group is wonderful. And um, I'm very excited to uh, take on this position. Well, that's really awesome, uh, Heidi, and um, I think uh, I know Lowell and your your staff supports you, and and your administration supports you, and uh, and we count on the, your position to uh, really pull your weight. So um, we look forward to that. Okay, there's a motion on the floor and seconded. Uh, all the council members in in uh, favor of said motion, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed. Well, there you go, Heidi. It was unanimous. Congratulations. Say that again. Thank you. Congratulations, <laughs> Heidi. <laughs> Congrats, Heidi. <laughs> okay, that's great news and uh, good for the city of Menominee. Okay, we're going to move on to 6B. Randy. Oh, yes, go ahead. Randy, this is Eric Sutherland. I wasn't sure, and I just want to verify that I was uh, counted at a roll call there. Yes, you were. We got you down. Hey, Eric. Well, All right. Very Eric, good. This, Thank you. Eric, this is Randy Heidi. While, while you're on. I've been muting you because we're getting a lot of background noise from your phone. So I will, yes. I can, un, I can unmute you before the votes, but it's, we're just getting a lot of background noise while your while your phone's on. All right. I understand. I'll mute myself. Thank you. Yep. Thank you. All right. Okay. That brings us down to six B proposed fire department, medical transportation services agreement. Uh, Lowell, can you bring us in on that one? So the police or the fire chief, excuse me, um, approached the city about, Night, you guys. Formalizing these. Night, everybody. See you in the morning, Heidi. All right. <laughs> uh, the fire chief approached uh, myself and, and the city attorney about formalizing a medical transportation services agreement. I think we mentioned it at a prior meeting with the assisted living facilities in the city. Basically, this would allow us to recover costs when we do transports in the middle of the night or from Mayo back to a facility in um, garner the Medicare payments that uh, we are entitled to. So instead of doing them for nothing, we would get some fees. If they, people don't sign up, we would not be doing transport. So if XYZ facility does not uh, agree to this uh, ag agreement, for lack of a better word, then they would not be provided that service. So I don't know if Ben wants to add some more. So Denny, uh, Chief Klaus, you're on, uh, if you want to speak to this class. Yeah, I think we'll cover it very well. Um, if anybody has any questions right now, we are doing these transports um, due to no handy lift running, um, no taxi running.
and we are unable to bill for them under certain parts of Medicare and Medicaid. So this would allow us to build a facility to provide transport back to their place of residence. Um, so Danny, we would probably get like, this is low, we would probably get 40 cents on the dollar or something like that from what, based on the Medicare reimbursement formula? Correct, and this would all be handled by Andres Medical Billing. Once the contracts are signed, they would be able to set the rate based on federal numbers um, following Medicare, Medicaid. And didn't you indicate other communities are doing this as well? Correct, Chippewa I know is doing it. In fact, the agreement that we're proposing tonight um, is very similar to what Chippewa runs right now. And I believe out of the, they had several facilities and there was only one that, that would not sign. And I do not believe that they provide service back to that facility either. So. Oh. Just, just for council's awareness, how often do you think this happens? Is it once a night, once a week, once a month? Uh, multiple times a week. Um, and it's typically, typically non-business hours. Um, we get the calls from the ER at uh, two in the morning. Uh, can you please come out to the hospital and pick this person up and take them back to whatever assisted living because we can't get a taxi, their family's out of town. So we're doing these transports um, and then not getting reimbursed a cent for them, so. Okay, thanks Chief Class and Lowell for that information. Uh, Council, if somebody would like to make a motion in support of the proposed Fire Department Medical Transportation Services Agreement, now is the time to do so. Ryland, go ahead, please. Yeah, I'll make a motion to approve this uh, agreement. Okay, and Nate, you got your hand up? Yeah, I would like to second Ryland's motion. Okay, motion's been made and seconded. Any discussion? Ryland, go ahead, please. Um, yeah, I just was wondering, um, for what the, the fire department will be reimbursed is does that is that enough to cover the wages of the the fire department staff or is the fire department still losing money as if it was doing it pro bono? Uh, I think I probably have the chief answer that one, chief. It would be very close to covering. Um, we're looking at roughly two hundred dollars per call, and that would. For a two-person ambulance crew, for for a minimum of uh, an hour, hour and a half, yeah, it it'll be very close. It's a lot better than what what we're doing right now. We're anticipating somewhere in the neighborhood of twenty to thirty thousand, maybe more, to re be recouped during the year. So, so not a big money maker, but we won't be going broke. Correct. Okay, Correct. Mary, I see Mary. You got your hand up. Yeah, um, Chief. Why are we talking about this now? Has something changed in the past or a recent history that we're looking at this? No, this has been something that we've discussed for quite a while, Mary. It's been, if you will, a public service that we've provided um, some of these places, but we have to understand that these folks are going back to a for-profit facility and they are responsible for providing that transportation. So we're, yep. so it's, it's tough to say no at two o'clock in the morning when grandma has to go back to, to the facility and there's no ride for her, so. Yeah, thank you, Chief. You bet. Okay, thank you, uh, good questions. Uh, motion has been made and seconded, um, no? So at this point, then, if we'd like to vote on it, uh, all in favor of said motion, uh, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Okay, thank you. Brings us down to 6C, proposed 2021-2022 contract agreement with the Menominee Police Lieutenants Association. Discussion, possible motion approving. Uh, Lowell? Uh, I'll get the right chief now. Chief Atkinson is out there too. I think Randy will let him in, but this is a two-year agreement with the, uh, again, the Lieutenant's Association. I think it's been renamed from staff officers. Again, it's a two-year agreement that 
it's schedule changes, some weight changes, playing comp or getting rid of comp time, paying some of their WRS, I think, and all that good stuff. So similar to the patrol contract that's out there through the same time frame, you approved that a year ago. The lieutenants were uh, uh, did a one-year deal last year. And with that, maybe Eric wants has to make some comments that that I've missed, but I think this flows fairly similar to the other contract, correct, Chief? I would say so. It uh, works well for us. It uh, allows both contracts to work uh, in conjunction with each other and end at the same time so we can uh, negotiate more effectively together. It uh, provides us flexibility as far as the removal of the comp time, uh, would, and it also allows us to utilize wages that keep them competitive. And then uh, also it allows us to have wages that are competitive with our own patrol officers. So there still is an incentive to seek a promotion. Overall, I would highly recommend this contract for approval. Okay, thank you, Chief. Thank Anything you. Else? Yeah. Okay, um, I'm gonna put it back towards the council. If somebody would like to make a motion to approve the um, <clears throat> The contract agreement with the Menominee Police Lieutenants Association. Now that be time, uh, Lee. Yeah, I'll make that motion. Okay, motion made by Lee. Is there a second to that motion? Okay, Robin. I second Lee's motion. Okay, motion been made and seconded. Any discussion? Okay, all in favor of said motion, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed. Okay, thank you. Under 6D, proposed 641 ordinance amendment for a four hour parking limits on the 700 to 1000 blocks of 2nd Street West, discussion possible ordinance adoption. And this, excuse me, this is just cleaning up the ordinance that we have in place at this time. So uh, pretty simple, but council. I can give a little background. I think we put the map in there. This is below the fire station downtown. It's It's been four hour parking down there, but our ordinance only had two hours in it so I asked Ben to clean it up it was an oversight and this will make our our uh, cut city ordinances in line with what we're actually doing in the field so okay and due to that this is a city ordinance we'd have to have a council member introduce it as an ordinance introduction correct so if somebody'd like to introduce it we can take it from there uh-huh I would uh, I would introduce that the ordinance the okay. 641 ordinance. For okay, it's limit. introduced by Nate Merrill. Thank you. And then we're going to need a motion to waive the first reading. Jan uh, go ahead, Jeff. Motion to waive the first reading. And Mary. I'll second Jeff's motion. And all in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Now we need a motion to waive the second reading. I'll make a motion to waive the second reading. Thank you, Ryland. Is there a second to that motion? Mary? I'll second Ryland's motion. Okay, motion made and seconded. All in favor of uh, that motion signify by saying aye. 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 Okay, and now a motion to adopt said ordinance. I would make a motion to adopt the ordinance. Okay, thank you, Nate. Is there a second to that motion? I'll second, Nate's motion to adopt. Okay, thank you, Jeff. Uh, any discussion? All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Okay, thank you. Okay, that brings us down to budget transfers, which there are none. And then it brings us down to the mayor's report. Um, I've got a 17 page mayor's report ready to go here for this evening, but I condensed it down to just a page and a half. Uh, first of all, I just really appreciate all of you serving on the city council. Uh, you all have contributed so much to the city of Menominee uh, in your serving on the council um, and the staff and the, all the employees, uh, they appreciate you very much. Uh, just a few highlights of some of the things that were done in 2019 and 2020. Um, the welcome to Menominee signs on the entrances to town. That was uh, due to all of your hard work and that was awesome. Uh, the Oak Avenue extension going out uh, towards between Fleet Farm and past uh, Quick Trip up there. Uh, amazing, That's I use it every almost every day. Uh, 
Uh, the EQ tanks uh, that have been put in place and, and refurbished. Um, the wastewater plant, of course, which you see is, is, uh, is doing well. It's still in some construction phases, but uh, you know, those are, those are big ticket items. Um, the heights that you guys are, uh, have all been a part of, uh, they're full and doing well. The Fifth Street West down past the high school, a uh, nice corridor, uh, a reconstruction. Uh, it was a job well done. The department, uh, the DPW garage, Department of Public Works garage, which is still being worked on, but what a great facility. If you walk in from the old part into the new part, it's like night and day. Uh, it is bright and, and cheery compared to dull and gloomy and cold, and and, and what a great addition to, um, to that uh, for the city of Menominee. Um, able to get Wolski's Bay dredging done this last year as a huge help. Um, neither bay gassed off this year. Uh, we're on the right approach. Um, there's a lot of, of um, a lot of work to be done upriver, but that was a great project to be done. The Prevea frontage road out there uh, by Prevea, that was another big project. The Broadway pedestrian crossings, uh, again, uh, you know, safety for our, our, our people in town and, um, you know, those flashing beacons, when they go off, everybody stops. So, you know, that's, that's a great thing. The um, Wakanda Park Regional Pond, uh, that's another big project. You know, that just, again, adds to the clarity of our lake and, and uh, some of the watershed regions up north that learning from what we do down here. So that's all good stuff. The Main Street sidewalks this year, that was a huge improvement downtown. A lot of the um, store owners appreciated that. Uh, next year, maybe we get to do some of the other side and so forth. Um, and then again, the um, the Christmas miracle, the winter wonderland, and when we get some snow, they're making ice down there now. They're decorating the tree today. Excel Energy came down and put power down there this last week. So now uh, within a couple of days, they'll have power to power up the Christmas lights and all the decorations and and uh, the the um, the feedback I've gotten from the community on the walking trail and and the tens of people that have stopped and talked to me while I was down there uh, goofing off away from work um, are all ecstatic and really um, excited to have their families be able to take part in some of the activities down there. So be sure to stop down and check out the Christmas miracle and, and what they're going to be doing with that site. I think it's going to be good for the city. Um, as far as 2021 and 22 coming up, you know, we have the 21st street improvement, uh, Stout Road is being looked at, you know, and, and uh, see how that turns out. I think that we've got a lot of positive feedback now on that. Uh, the River Road, Dairyland Road, the Wastewater Treatment Plant Phase 2, the 22nd Avenue Regional Pond, the Tark Park EDA Frontage Road Extension. Uh, by the way, uh, that was a piece that just came in uh, we had talked about that as a as a 50 50 split with uh, grant monies and then it changed to an 80 20 uh, Lowell informed me this morning or yesterday that it went back to a 50 50 and Lowell's on the microphone Lowell. now just so we did send a letter in saying that well if we're going to go 50 50 then we can't we can't fund more than our six hundred thousand dollar commitment and at this point EDA has come back and said well Let's look at what you can do for a 50-50 project at that amount and rescope the project. And so we'll be talking to regional planning tomorrow, Randy and myself and Kevin Oyen will be on that call. But I think we'll be able to do a project that extends that road up to the, at least the property line on the east side or the base of the hill will stay out of the hill and, and not connect at this point to Stokey Parkway. But we should have a project hopefully in a few years. So that's, that's good information and good news. Thank you, Lowell. Uh, Main Street sidewalks again, looking at those, mill and overlay several streets within the city of Menominee and other projects to be uh, mentioned uh, in the future. So, you know, uh, you can be proud to be of serving on the city council and of all the things that you've accomplished within the city of Menominee. It really, um, I know I get most of the compliments and, and thank yous, but tonight I'm passing those compliments and thank yous back to you. Uh, you've worked hard this last week and we appreciate all that you've done. And we look forward to a 2021 without COVID. So um, that being said, uh, I guess I'll turn the microphone over to Lowell. If you've got any announcements? No, just the Cali's looking for nomination papers to be submitted, I think, by the end of the year. So you have until the first Tuesday in January. 
Just a reminder, Callie. There you go. Jan, you got your hand up. Yes, I wanted to say thank you to everyone in the city offices for all of, all of the things that you've helped us accomplish. Yep. Yep. Well, you know, it was truly a team effort, and uh, I'd be lost without the, the, the team of players up here in the administration office and all the employees and the city council. And Ryland, you got your hand up. Um, yeah, I just wanted to, um, from what the mayor was saying, um, right now I can see a map on my wall of projects that the city did a couple in the past couple of years. And I was wondering if we could get something similar again of the next two, three years worth of projects big projects in the city um, that, because people come over and look at this map on my wall and they're like, wow, you guys have been doing a lot. Um, and it's a good, just a good reference and a, you know, good for friends and family that are from out of town to, yep, to, to look at it and go, hey, Menominee's bigger than I thought and has more going on than I thought. So, hey, Ryan, this is Randy Eide. We'll up, the mayor just showed that on screen. It's uh, it's about a year out of date. So we're going to update it with those 2021, 2022 projects. And um, we'll update that and send it out to the council. Should yep. get it pretty soon. Well, I, I'm super pleased with, uh, to, you know, other than COVID and the setbacks we had with that in, in 2020, uh, the projects and the, the um, cooperation and the work ethic and the number of projects that the city of Menominee has gotten done, um, we're second to none when it comes to uh, getting things done in Menominee. And the statement of being progressive is true. We are progressive. City of Menominee is moving forward. Um, Mr. Eddy? Yeah, and I, uh, the council, you should have got a, just a late update, some additional information, an email that went out this afternoon. Um, in there was a, a list of uh, uh, non-mandated items that where you can go to recycle and where you go to take those. Um, we're going to post that on Facebook, our website. We're going to have it as a handout at the uh, Solid Waste site, the City of Menominee Solid Waste site. But I think it's a handy reference uh, for you. Megan put this together for us and uh, um, a handy reference. If you get calls from people, there's a lot of options for them. Um, and um, as Megan mentioned, last council meeting, we'll try to get, we will get the Solid Waste Committee together to see if we want to take on one or two of these at our Solid Waste site or, or maybe we just stay status quo. So. And I just wanted to point that out so, so you know what's there. Thank you, Mr. Eide. Uh Any other communications uh, from council? Uh, Jeff Luther. Yes. Um, I'd just also like to say how I appreciate the city staff, all the hard work that they do. Um, it makes our job a lot easier. Mm -hmm. um, I put a lot of faith and trust into those individuals down there at your city hall when they uh, bring these proposals into the agendas and stuff. Um, I really enjoyed being on the city council um, for the last eight years, um, working with all you and there, it came to my attention and I talked to the individual, there's somebody in my ward that is interested and he's going to be running for city council in coming this next spring. And um, I think it's, you know, I had eight years of um, learning and understanding how a city operates, but uh, I'm gonna be turning in my non-candidacy paperwork on Wednesday, and I'm gonna let this individual get the same experience and um, that I have had over the last eight years, and I hope he fits in and does really good. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Jeff. Yes, uh, thank you, Jeff. I, I, I'm lost for words because I was supposed to call you to make sure that you didn't say something like that tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I think it's just time for, you know, someone else in the community to get the experience working with you guys and, you know, yeah. if, if it was possible, a quarter of the population of the city of Menominee should experience being on the city council at yeah. one point or another, you know, yeah. but, so I'm just going to step down and let this individual take it and hope he fits in with you guys and does as good a job as you hoped I did. <laughs> well, 
Well, I guess we'll have to talk about that one, but um, <laughs> the, the, it is true that a lot of people should be serving on the boards and committees throughout the city of Menominee. I, I know school board and, and uh, county board and uh, city council, and, and uh, it's, it's an eye-opening experience, or it can be for everyone. So um, yep. anyways, okay, anything else from anybody? Uh, um, just... I, this is Lowell, Jeff. You did a heck of a job, and we're really going to miss you. You've been very, very good to work with. So, you maybe should take two more weeks and think about it. So, yeah, I take a couple more weeks and think about it. Yeah, that's a probably yeah. a good idea. I know somebody's going to be bugging me every day. What next yeah. week? Morning. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Your wife. You. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll carry that conversation on later. But um, All right. anything else from anybody else as far as communications go? Well, yes, um, this is Jan. I received two emails from different people about please do everything you can to make sure the COVID-19 vaccine is purely voluntary. Uh, we can't, the government can't insist that people have that vaccine, can they? Oh, uh, I, I, you know what? I would just recommend that it's a voluntary move, and people just take it voluntary. And and I, and I remember that I was supposed to talk about that a little bit tonight, Jan. So thank you for reminding me. But yeah, as from a, as far as the city goes, it'd be voluntary. And Lowell, you got your mic on. No, at this point, there's no that I'm aware of no push that we're going to try and make it mandatory or make your job dependent on it. So it'll be it'll be up to the individual to decide and. And we'll go from there. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, uh, anything else from anybody? Okay, we're gonna keep moving then. Uh, communications and miscellaneous business claims. Um, if we wanna pay the bills, now would be the time to do so. Anybody like to make a motion? Robin, go ahead, please. I make a motion to pay the bills. Okay, Mary, got your hand up. I will second Robin's motion. Okay, motion's been made and seconded. Any discussion? Roll call vote, please. Sommerfeld? Yes. Luther? Yes. Traxler? Yes. Sutherland? Yes. Yes. Sweeney? Yes. Schwebs? Yes. Merrill? Yes. Solberg? Yes. Slew? Yes, yes. Got some thumbs up here. <laughs> Erd <laughs> Erdman? Yes. Okay, thank you. Uh, no licenses this evening, no closed session. Uh, we are in open, and we could have a motion to adjourn if somebody would like to make that motion. Nate, you cut your hand up. Yeah, I would. Uh, I'd like to entertain a motion to adjourn. Okay, motion's been made to adjourn. La Jeff, you want to get the last word in? Oh, second H motion. <laughs> second by Jeff Luther. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed. Everybody have a merry, merry Christmas. Stay safe out there, and we'll see you all next time. Merry Christmas, everyone. Yeah.